Yeah, all of this is pretty decent. I think what I do is go for... What is worth the most? This is worth 800, same as this. This is also worth 800. Yeah, it's all 800s, but I can instantly sell this one. I don't want to keep the high-level Overlord. For the moment, at least. Let's upgrade these. Give him range. Give the Marksman range as well. And should I give them EMP and just say, let's go? Let's go do that. Also, I'm going to buy out and get my upgrades here. And then let's go for speed. See what happens. He has deployment specialist. I never even checked. He went for the storm callers. If I actually buy a range upgrade next time, then the storm callers have the same range the sledges do, which is absolutely insane in my opinion. Is he getting any sort of upgrade for them? Doesn't look like it. Now these things are going to shut down his sledges. They are going to shut down the movement of the scorpions and they outrange them by a lot. And the marksmen are safe behind them. Hopefully. The shields are annoying though. There's a bunch of tanks just going down with no actual, you know, purpose to them. This is a lot more of a competitive fight than I had suspected. He has chaff moving in. I clearly don't have enough chaff clear despite having this amount of tanks. This side is... Why did the tanks not clear all the chaff? I assume it is because of the shield. It was doing a lot of work. I clearly need some chaff clear. Senior defense, pretty neat. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take that. Getting more and higher level sledges. And I think I just need... Because the ranges are so insane... I think I might just need to um, invest into some chaff in front of all of this. What kind of chaff though? Mind that I could just invest into more sledges. Could also go into overlords, but I don't want to play Sledge Overlord all the time. I think I'm just going to invest into some fangs. And get the range upgrade. Put one set here, put one set like in the middle here. And put one set here, and that should hopefully tank a whole lot. And I think that's... Yeah, I think that's going to be it for this turn. He's got EMP on the Storm Colors now, which is very reasonable. And he also has more Storm Colors. So the Mustangs die pretty easily. I'm really thinking of finishing it with Wasps if I can't finish it any other way right now. Because I can't really finish it any other way unless I get Chaff clear. And... I oh know not with Phoenixes, with Wasps. I mean, I've, I'm thinking about finishing it with Wasps. Yeah, he's really wrecking me right now. How is he doing that? Is it just the MP Stormcallers? Because he is shredding my tanks just like that. I'm almost done for. Yeah, let's get the tech specialist. Let's upgrade our tanks wherever we can. I could also give them the damage up, but I think this turn I just want to go level 2, mass recruit myself, a good amount of wasps. I want to buy out and get the range upgrade. I don't think speed is even worth it. And then I want these wasps to come in and destroy. That is their declared and expressed purpose. 
And subterranean is probably also a good idea. Yeah, I'm thinking this is not a bad strategy right now. He's putting levels down here. Oh, those are some dangerous storm colors. They deal over 10k damage per shot. That is insane. Oh wait, I think he completely sold the Mustangs. He has no anti-air other than the Marksman. Oh wow. I didn't even notice that, but I guess he just got rid of them because there's not really any specific purpose for them. Yeah, in the end, I think I didn't build enough different units. I was going in on too much other stuff. He's constantly shielding and buying out, so in the grand scheme of things, his army is not all that scary. I think and hope at least. So can I finally break that dumb shield here? Yeah, I can. I don't think I've broken it in previous turns. Finally, my tanks are retargeting onto some chaff and everything. He is wrecking my army, all things considered, and he's wrecking it good. I think I can also sell the scorpion, it's not doing anything in that position. And my army might just get shredded again, but is that enough DPS to kill all the tanks before everything else goes down? Because these wasps... There's not infinite amounts of them, and one marksman is enough, in theory at least. Boy, he is shredding me right now with those EMP stormcrawlers and everything. Second senior defense. Yeah, let's go do that. Let's sell that as well. Throw some fire here. And I think it's time for max tech tanks. These sledges do 7k damage each shot. Now these wasps definitely have been worth it. Buy out once more and get range. And uh, yeah, I wish I could... I wish I had ever so slightly more money. Ugh. I should have not upgraded one of the marksmen, I think. Uh, and done that one better. So what do I do instead now? I think I just get more wasps, maybe. Or is there something else that is reasonable to do here? I could also just get more tanks, which is maybe more worth it more. But let's add more wasps. One here symmetrical. And one kinda in the middle. Um... If he goes for, like, Fortress or something. For Mr. Clear. He's getting anti-air... Okay, no, it's... An, I fought for a moment on the Marksman. He has some Mustangs here. Okay, okay, okay. That is a lot more reasonable. Now, my tanks are now dealing absolute tons of damage. There is not even remote comparing it to his units, his tanks here, uh, hitting that upgrade button more than doubles the DPS of these tanks. And they are showing it. The Mustangs are good, but not insane against these level 3 wasps. And I think that's a pretty clean victory. Wow. These tanks, the the final upgrade, the armor-piercing bullets did a lot more. GG and well played. Wow. Yeah, max tech sledge, uh, sledge spam. Another very viable tactic would have been going for overlords and going for photon. The overlords would have destroyed a lot of stuff. But I'm not sure if they were actually that amazing in this scenario because they will push ahead and go into some, well, into some upgraded uh, uh, marksmen. 
And they would level. Uh, I'm not sure. Has he neglected leveling them a bunch of times? Because I'm pretty sure that they must have fed tons of XP of these sledgehammers. So I really think he should maybe have upgraded these. Also, going for a range upgrade on the scorpions so that they stay behind the sledgehammers is probably not a bad idea either. He was investing into a lot of chaff to win that war. Ah, okay. Well, that's a game for you. Max tech sledge spam. I guess six is not really that much of a spam. But hey, whatever counts. Thank you very much for watching, listening, and until next time.